Yo guys, what is going on? It is Royal here today back for another episode of the dungeon series You guys have been killing the support on this series so far throughout like the entirety of it I believe this is episode 7 so we have had a grip of content on here But if you guys do want to come check out the server Please consider using the custom IP on your screen right now royal.enchantedmc.net And for all the bedrock players bedrock port bedrock IP are always linked down below in the description of every single video So you guys can come hop on check out the same exact server as well and guys for today's episode i'm not entirely sure what we're going to be doing but there was just a brand new content update that dropped all right i just barely rebirth we are rebirth 65 currently and there's been a fat content update but from the rebirth that i literally just did a couple of seconds ago we actually got a thousand credits for free which is great if i would have known we were going to get credits from that i would have uh, obviously recorded it but it's fine if i do slash milestones i think you can actually look at all of the rewards right here that you get from rebirth the next one we will get 1200 credits at rebirth 80 that's gonna take a minute basically guys in today's episode i am searching for the best loot the best gear possible with the content update if i do slash armor they have dropped a brand new set now i haven't gotten a set since like 1992 all right i think episode one was the first time we got a set and it was this wizard set we opened up some of the aquatic crates didn't get the poseidon gear we opened up some fantasy loot boxes and we didn't get the angel gear now there is a champion set which is a special boost to all boosters on the server bro and a 0.5x as well so getting this set this is like the greatest set i've ever seen on enchanted mc on any game mode ever so listen we're hunting for one of those champion sets and we are also looking for one of the best possible sword perks i'm not sure which one the best one technically is but right now we have demon 3 and demon is a very good perk because if we read this it gives you damage and attack speed boosts but if we're gonna have demon i want at least demon 5 all right so there's only a few perks that i will actually stick with and go for obviously magnet completely or not completely useless this does have a 50 percent enchant booster but like the tool xp booster we're not going to use because we already have a fully maxed out level sword we have every single crystal on our sword maxed out and we've maxed out basically all of our enchants we just have to prestige them now and a lot of people keep telling me to upgrade credit finder so you know what we'll go ahead and do that right now can i even afford to max this thing out oh bro it's only 300 bill boom credit finder is now officially maxed out okay but yeah obviously i just rebirth so we're gonna be able to progress relatively fast let's just upgrade to the max sword slash zones come over here max out my zones and then teleport and we should just be able to go straight to western boom there we go kill like a couple ocelots here and then we should be good to go ahead and switch over to the candy oh we gotta max this one out first bang and then just straight into the candy zone bro i don't even care start smacking these polar bears and apparently there is also a brand new money pet which clearly is going to be completely broken if we can get our hands on that money pet again i'm not sure how hard it's going to be to win all of these rewards okay and unfortunately in the last episode i just spent all of my quest points so we're only down to eight i doubt the new loot box is even in here yet but it definitely will go in there and not only all of that they have also added monster skulls so you have a really small percent chance whenever you're just grinding mobs to actually pick up one of these monster skulls right here and the funny thing is is they kind of made a typo as you guys can see i have have three of these monster skulls but if we read the description it says this skull has been found by swining at mobs in your zone and will provide you with a random reward so they had to drop an update and they fixed a little typo to swinging at mobs but basically you could just win insane stuff out of these you can even win the brand new rivals loot box out of it as well so we're gonna be testing our luck in today's intro wish me luck guys boom first one we got a special stat dice don't really need that essence booster actually we do need to start using more boosters so we're gonna hang on to this thank you very much and then the next one bang three normal stat dies last monster skull that i have for today's intro and it's a monthly crate wait they apparently updated their monthly crates as well to august crates i don't know if that makes them any better but we have a couple of these that we can actually open so bang final reward yeah i mean these these crates still aren't the greatest you do get some like pet boxes and stuff but it's just not a lot but yeah guys i think before i buy like any type of bundles or anything i try to get like a rebirth bundle because that actually ends up saving you credits and you get some extra rewards if i do slash bundles right now or do slash buy and take a look at these bundles there is a champion bundle in here let's see is this thing worth it seven rival loot boxes three months actually wait wait whoa 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 i think this bundle is low key worth i think we're gonna go ahead and cop this but after this bundle we might go ahead and just wait for the rebirth bundles that you get because those always come like equipped with brand new loot boxes as well so let's go ahead and get this done we have seven of the brand new rival loot boxes and we actually did get some extra crystal boxes we are 
we're still looking for a zombie apocalypse crystal that's like 90% at least. This guy said, Royal, sell me new set for real. Brother, I haven't gotten a new set since start of the world, bro. So we're gonna come over here to our guild just so that way I can fly and open these. I'm opening them at three at a time because, dude, these are the most OP crates that have ever been dropped. I need to see a set. I need to see the money pet. And I forgot what else is even good, bro. But there's just so much new stuff. I am praying to God. Books of Rarities, champion set, off with absolutely beautiful thank you very much sir finally and we won that on like the third crate that was actually pretty insane luck right there we take it we are going to be equipping this oh my wait bro i still need to win the inferno set skin as well i don't know if that's even a reward out of this crate though i guess we're gonna see though drop down another three and i'm praying to god i see a money pet right here bro if we have a money pet this is gonna be the perfect intro to the video and five bucks of rarity premium pass oh special stat that, that was not great all right right into the next one at least we do get a decent amount of like souls and stuff from this that we can use to continuously prestige our enchants but the final crate for today's intro after this i think i'm gonna wait money pet off the rip i mean what an intro i couldn't have asked for anything better i do still want that inferno set skin because not only does it look dope but like the actual buffs it gives you are pretty insane but dude that was literally godlike let me unequip all of my pets just make sure we fuse them all to the max out tier right here and yeah this money pet is getting leveled up asap i think i should have some crate keys that we can pop open and these crate keys do give you a fat amount of like experience books and stuff to level up your pets but screw it guys since i just opened up my own crates and i had insane luck i'm gonna be giving away three of the brand new fantasy loot boxes only one each so there's gonna be three winners if you guys do want to enter in that just comment your IGN down below sub if you guys are new obviously drop a like on the video if we could shoot for like 175 likes i want to say on the video that would be great and yeah dropping a like on the video just helps out the the video the channel so it's greatly appreciated and it's free to do of course now we are going to use these book of rarities but a lot of people say why don't you just use it on like your infinity pet guys you can't use books of rarities on any any pet that is above like the enchanted tier like enchanted so we can't upgrade these anymore so we have to start upgrading the one below it all right so don't cook me in the comments saying why are you wasting these books i have to do it like this okay i'm also making it a priority to start finally using all of my boosters because guys i have so many boosters that i could be using but i just like don't for some reason like i can't even tell you guys a good reason why i don't use them i just literally don't okay so i'm trying to be better at that but right here we are looking for a decent zombie apocalypse crystal i want 90 percent boost or above and so far like the best i've opened are 70 percenters oh my god finally 98% zombie apocalypse booster. I've been listening to Panda Snoopy, okay? One of the highest rebirth players on the entire server. Commented on my video and told me a layout that you basically want to follow whenever you are using crystals. And he included zombie apocalypse in there. So we're going to be applying this. I just got to get some dust out, make this thing 100%. And bang, there we go. 101% chance to apply, all right? Now, what do we get rid of? I low-key want to keep laser on my sword because if you guys don't know, laser gives you a boost of souls and essence so i really want to keep that if i can i might have to get rid of rain boost which is kind of crazy but that's my lowage percent crystal we'll go ahead and do that and then boom apply the zombie apocalypse to our sword now let's get back to our slash zones but we also need to equip the brand new champion set right here we'll apply our violet skin because it's still the best skin that we have i really wanted this inferno skin though but we still haven't unlocked that one so we're gonna go with the violet and guys i have fifty thousand shards to go ahead and spend on this champion set i don't even know what the upgrades are looking like chance to have a boost towards your pets alongside the original boost i think that one's good because this one says it helps your tool level my tool level's already maxed out so low key i think we only need the best friend enchant can we max this out on every single piece of gear i think we can because it's looking relatively cheap i don't know if going for blacksmith is actually going to help us with anything i don't know if this boosts like our tool enchants or just our tool level chance to have a boost towards your tools alongside the original boost like that's just they need to update these descriptions because they are confusing but i mean screw it we can afford it dude we still have like forty-five thousand shards left over so we'll see if this ends up helping a maxed out championship set never hurt anybody bro boom there we go i am very excited to use this new set because i don't know if you guys watched the end of the last episode but it was finally starting to get really hard to run through these rebirths and like and actually rank up and stuff so these new items are going to help us a ton especially this money pet but we do want to max out the level of that money pet and i'm just gonna pop open rusty keys because as you guys can see it does give you some books of experience so even if we like can't max it out right away this is still going to be a massive boost and just like that our money pet is now the maxed out level but now guys we are going to apply these 
pet traits and pet stats to it. The only trait I am accepting is buff three or like God one. I'm going to be honest, bro. I will roll these until, you know, I'm out of credits. I don't care. A money pet is going to be absolutely broken. And just like that, God one on the pet, dude. Now let's move over to the pet stats. I might hunt for like some insane stats on this pet right here since we just have so many to roll s s s in experience but that's the most useless one so honestly like re-roll that bro we actually don't really care about ss experience i'm gonna roll these until we get an s in either buff or level and wait a minute just like that s's across the board on the money pet i think for buff bro we have so many extra rolls oh my god we just got s again i'm looking for like ss or maybe even a triple s dude i'm going for it all and just like that ss on the money pet dude for buff that's a beautiful pet i went for it all and we almost ran out of rolls i am not gonna lie but boom there we go we have done it guys let's make sure we fuse all of our pets here we have now some infinity pluses which is gonna be nice and i do have some extra pet books still so boom we'll apply that We'll apply that here. And finally, pet wise, we are good to go. So I've already taken it upon myself to give myself a bunch of boosters so that way we can be popping these things legitimately 24 7. I will never be grinding without a booster pop. But now the last thing to go for, I said we're going for gold in this episode, is gonna be a sword perk. We have 135 rolls though. Wizard 5, let's just make sure that's not gonna cut it. Wizard 5, I mean, it is a decent enchant boost, but it's also only 37.5%. There's some other ones out there that give you a better booster. We got money five, gold rush three. I might just take a cut because we might be sitting here for quite some time until I get something actually decent. Anything that's like not level five, banker five. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This one might be godlike. Let's take a look. Where is banker? Banker is right here. This gives you a souls and an essence booster. Oh, do we stay with this or do we roll for one of the purple ones? Low key, we roll for one of the purple ones. If I could get fortune, this would be great because it's also going to give us a money booster as well. But I don't mind getting like the attack or the damage type of uh, perks and stuff. Like godly five, I would still be super cool with. And I think master five is the best all around one. So screw that. We're going for purple. We got our first purple perk right here, but it's power three. And power three is probably like one of the most useless ones. And it's still not level five yet. This helps you with like your tool XP. Guys, we just don't need that anymore. Guys, I think we finally just did it, bro. We just pulled master five. I don't know how many rolls we went through, but we are now down to 9.3k credits. But we got master five and this is a 75% damage booster, 75% enchant booster, and 75% attack speed. It unfortunately doesn't have any money, souls, or essence boosters which i feel like master you know we should probably throw a couple more on there but i cannot pass on this master five is godlike bro like how, how am i gonna pass on that i think i did like a hundred and something rolls and we only pulled two purples that is sick work so i'm not sure if i would have preferred fortune or master five but i'm absolutely taking the master five okay or maybe wait loki now that i think about it with more attack speed as long as you afk more attack speed means you're gonna be swinging more you're gonna be killing more mobs that it should mean more souls and essence in general or is that like a faded take i don't i don't actually know because the faster you swing the more chances you have to proc all of your enchants right i don't know guys i could be an idiot but i am hyped we have that we have the brand new money pet we have the champion set and we still have nine thousand credits left over oh we also do have 16 trillion souls i should definitely use this to just like prestige and enchant asap i don't know what exactly to prestige can't prestige nuke snowstorm says 150x damage uh we might just do okay just proceed just as much as possible and then essence i think we just keep upgrading meteor shower because again 132x i don't know what the best enchants are to prestige eventually i'm gonna want to prestige everything anyway so i'm not really tripping about it too much here but boom there we go we basically got as many upgrades as we could i think this rebirth we're actually going to be hitting a brand new zone as well of the, our first zone on the second page which is going to be the jungle zone so i think this eye sword is about good for this stage right here as you guys can see one shotting everything boom we got that proc upgrade again slash zones i believe this is the final stage already of the nether world and yeah we are actually killing everything pretty fast and let's make sure we have these boosters proc now that we finally got through all of the openings and stuff we can just focus on grinding as much as possible boom kill that thing we are going to be straight onto the end world here in a second i just want to get a couple more kills because i just feel like whenever i go to the end guys the damage 
mention like the health and everything scales so much it is so much harder to kill those end mobs so right here heading over to the end we are already oh i may maybe it's because we start on like stage freaking 54 oh no wait okay i went to stage 53 instead because i thought i would be able to kill these things a lot easier and i definitely killed them way quicker okay bro we are actually flying through progression right now maybe it's the new set maybe it's the new pet maybe it's the new sword perk i don't know what the hell is going on but we are flying through progression now dude i'm already on this sword i think this is like or actually i don't even know what this sword is called but i think we're almost at the maxed out stage for the end world and here we are on the final stage bro look at all the enchants are lagging the absolute hell out of me dude my frames are in the gutter but this is the final stage we already killed that thing usually killing that thing takes forever for me to kill and this is a brand new sword i think oh wait no no, no. i think i made it to this laser sword once and yeah i think we're good to go to the jungle zone for the first time of the series and wait that unlocks a jungle bundle, bro. I didn't even think about that. Here we are. My game lags like every time I teleport to a new zone. But this is the jungle zone for the first time this season of bang i mean we're still doing a decent amount of damage here bro oh my yeah i don't know what proc right there but i mean he's dead he's off the map we already have enough for a rebirth but like i'm killing these things so quickly i feel like i should at least save up for some pets here real quick no so really quickly we're gonna walk over to this egg and again if you guys don't know if you just stand near this egg it will roll all of this like pets and stuff for you so we're just gonna try and get some upgrades and keep this snowballing and try to rank up as much as possible in this episode so now let's go ahead hit our first rebirth of the episode so now let's do slash companions and see what we made it out with boom all brand new companions right here and yeah i don't really see like too many upgrades we can even do here with the companions we have left over like we actually do have a couple gorillas let's try oh no no, no. we can definitely get one guaranteed upgrade right there boom and then now we have three gorillas okay let's go ahead and do slash boost and take a look at our money multiplier 1.34 quintillion i think in the last episode we were in the quadrillions but you guys can see this is a capital q i think that means it is quintillion so absolutely godlike guys let's go ahead hit one chicken how much money do we get from one chicken it already died and we got 1.13 and that thing died like instantly and yeah from one chicken we are already into the western zone so i'm gonna take a cut right here guys we are going to rebirth a literal ton off camera i am currently working on oh wait no we maxed that out i think we work on maybe our essence upgrades right here try to get this booster up but yeah i'm gonna take a cut we'll see what rebirth we are in the next clip all right guys so we're back and we have already been grinding for a couple of hours and i am currently rebirth level 80 which means we have unlocked a rebirth 80 bundle just right up here and i already went ahead and took a look at this thing well first of all if i do slash bundles i actually have four bundles in here we have the jungle we got the rebirth 70 we have the volcano bundle and now we have the rebirth 80 bundle and look at the value on this thing 10 rival loot boxes for 5,000 credits. I mean, you can't pass up on this. This right here is a must because 10 regular loot boxes right here, if I just do quick slash buy and we take a look at loot boxes, would cost 9,000 credits. So I just basically saved 40 bucks for hitting Rebirth 80. You'll love to see it. I also got another Star of the World loot box. Don't know how I really got that, but let's open up these monster skulls. We have 11, all right? Hopefully we pull some sort of loot box out of this. If you could still win the Inferno skin out of this Star of the World loot box, that would have been great, but uh, we didn't get it. So moving on, I'm just gonna kind of spam open all of these and we'll see what we get we got one start of the world loot box no other loot box though that is kind of brutal i'm really thinking about selling those monster skulls and just selling them for souls and using the souls to prestige my enchants further wait oh so let's go ahead drop down these 10 rival loot boxes we are again looking for the inferno set skin and i think that's it i think that's the only thing that we are missing right now and serpent rank another loot box beat skin and then a premium pass so close to i mean we did get a armor skin it's just not the one that we're looking for oh my god my inventory is about to be full hold on let me just go ahead and pv all this stuff because i don't want anything to drop but i also don't want to miss what well, we end up winning here another beat skin serpent rank inferno skin bang bro i think we have every rare item on the entire server wait bro the chat's saying l but i literally got what i want he said bro is trying to get that champion set don't worry i already got it like i said it's a couple hours later so we have got what i wanted i literally have every rare item bro we have master five or whatever the hell it is we have the money pet we have the champion set we got everything to be a top player here on the server i am not gonna lie to you so now let's do slash sets and check out this brand new skin i've unfortunately like i've already seen the skin um like of other people wearing it and it does 
does look pretty sick. Not sure how long it takes to switch out the purple right here. Oh, wait, I put it on the wrong set. Jesus, I am a moron. All right, boom. Inferno skin. Now look at it, bro. Tell me this thing does not look sick. At least better than the purple one. Wait, whoa, 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 bro. How did I just get 90k credits? Oh, oh bro, it was literally a troll. Okay, I didn't actually get those credits. Sandro is literally trolling. Anyways, guys, you know, we're gonna move back to grinding. Some of the chat is salty that, like, you know, I'm getting, I'm getting me some crates, bro. Anyways, I got cut up. We got three more crates right here. I honestly don't need anything out of these last three crates. I have everything I could possibly want, I believe. So we'll just go ahead and get the crate opening over so I can get back to grinding. And another Inferno skin, some more pet boxes. You know what? I will take it. Anyways, we're gonna go back to swinging at mobs, doing some more grinding here. We don't need a freaking tool booster. I am not gonna lie. Everybody thinks I said I was gonna do like a free to play series on a brand new realm. Never did I say that, but don't worry. Free to play gen series coming up next season, all right? And just an FYI, a lot of people do enjoy the crate openings, all right? I receive comments about that all the time because obviously I know not everybody can get their own crates and stuff, which is why they're implementing plenty of ways to get crates just by playing the game through the slash quest through the, uh, like, the monster skulls that just dropped. But that's why a lot of people enjoy watching the Cray Key openings, the super OP gameplay, because they don't always have the means to do it themselves. And at the end of the day, we're here to make some content, all right? Anyways, a little bit of an update on our multiplier, 477 quadrillion. We might be able to get that into the sextillion in today's episode if we keep on rebirthing, because rebirth 80, I don't know, we're climbing that rebirth leaderboard. And guys, we are finally back. We went on a fat, fat grinding spree, and we have rebirthed a ton. I forgot what rebirth we were actually at in the last episode, but now we are rebirth level 91. And listen, the thing is, mobs are taking forever to kill now, and I'm thinking that maybe, just maybe, nuke is gonna be the new meta whenever you get to these very high stages, because the mobs, I promise you, are taking forever to kill. This is a regular fox. I have a pretty, you know, highly ranked sword here. Let me actually turn away, because, bro, the lag is insane with this brand new champion set it just ups your enchant proc rate an insane amount but since the last clip it's actually like a couple days later because you guys know the sky block reset and stuff but they have added a brand new enchant the taco enchant chance to spawn gucci taco in front of all of your mobs doing damage i have no clue if this goes crazy but we can i mean we just maxed it out uh, guess I had a decent amount of essence. I haven't tried this enchant, so I guess let's try it right now. See if we can get a Gucci taco spawn here. And again, I don't know if the frames absolutely die on episode. There's my mirror, so there's me. And there's Gucci taco. Yo, we're cooking right here. Um, is it doing damage though? It's kind of hard to tell. So many enchants go off that I think I may like lag my own client. But I mean, I don't know. Maybe this new enchant is going to be the meta. I would have to do some more testing off camera. But Gucci taco should definitely help. I actually do feel like he's going down health pretty fast compared to the damage that we were doing so i don't know who knows um i know we just took a random cut my obs ended up crashing and i threw it back on and i just kept recording not realizing i just recorded a whole black screen for the outro i'm low-key pissed but uh we ended up opening up a stack almost of those monster skulls you guys could see it in my hot bar in the last clip we didn't get anything too crazy we did pull one aquatic loot box for absolutely free you do get those mob skulls from just grinding on the server so that is pretty dope and we bought and upgraded a bunch of companions every single companion in here here right now is from zone 9 stage 7 and they're all void if you guys don't know void is the highest tier that you can get in companions on the entire server so i did also want to show off my brand new money multiplier with all of those void companions highly ranked bank for capital s the capital s means it's like past sextillion i forgot what comes after that i forgot what like the sevens are but either way it just means we are making a whole lot of money every single kill if i just kill one chicken right here bro boom that was worth 1.5 e40 from a chicken kill and obviously some enchants just procced as well so we are at 1.05 e42 let's just buy the best sword boom we insta spawn in on this elucidator sword i don't know if i'm saying that right but yeah we have progressed a ton in today's video i kind of already did a longer outro so i'm sorry if this one's a little bit shorter but i already recorded it and then it just got cooked so i don't really know what happened but anyways that's gonna go ahead and do it for this episode of dungeons of course if you guys do want to come check it out dungeon still has a really active player base bro even after skyblock reset and they're still dropping updates on here all the time as you guys can just see there was a gucci taco enchant i really hope that made it into the video because i don't know if my file corrupted before that wait no, no 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 that definitely made it into the video no worries but yeah still dropping updates on here still a super active player base so if you guys still want to come hop on trust me it is not too late these maps last i think like six weeks or something insane so you guys still have plenty of time to hop on use my custom ip royal.enchantedmc.net of course bedrock players link down below in the description and yeah i will catch you guys in the next episode of the dungeons series.